Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will cover PDS commands. Now this is the agenda. We will see browse command, we will see copy or move operation, then the refresh command, then we have how to rename a member and then search for command. First we will start with browse. If you want to open a member in browse mode, you simply need to write B in front of it and hit enter. It can be done on PS or on a PDS member. The feature of this is you all the fields present in that file, either it's a PS or a PDS member, they will be protected and you will not be able to edit it. So it's just for reading purpose. Now the next is copy or moving a member from one PDS to another PDS. Suppose if you want to copy one member from one PDS to another PDS, then you need to type C in front of it, hit enter. It will ask for the new PDS name. Give the new PDS name in quotes, hit enter, the name will be copied. Suppose if that name is already present there, that member is already present there, then it will ask for the new member name as well. In that scenario, you need to give the new member name, new PDS name, hit enter, but the contents will be copied from the old one. Now, if you want to move a member, th that was about copy. If you want to simply move it, then you need to type M and the procedure is same. Type M, hit enter, give the new PDS name and the member will be moved to the new PDS. It is similar to copy or cut a file from one folder to another folder in Windows. Now the next is refresh command. This command is used to refresh the list of PS or PDS. Suppose in one session you have opened a list of PS and on the another session you have created one more PS. Now if you want to see the updated list you need to type ref in the command line, hit enter, it will refresh the list and the new names will be appearing there. Now next is renaming a member. Suppose you want to rename a PS, a PDS or a PDS member. In that scenario, you need to type R in front of it, hit enter. It, it will ask for a new member name, give the new member name, enter. The name will be renamed. But once you hit enter, still it will show you the old name. You need to do a refresh, type REF in the command line, hit enter. Now it will show you the new name. Now next is search for. Suppose if you want to search a particular string in any of the members which are present in a PDS, then one way is to do like opening all the members and searching for it using F command and the another way is open the PDS in the command line write SRCH4 followed by the text string hit enter it will start searching in all the members present in that PDS. Wherever it will find that text string it will on the right hand side it will display found uh, in the star mark fields. So here you can see like in all these members like this text string is present. So now we will see all these functionalities practically. We will start with browse command. Apart from edit and view mode, we can open any dataset in browse mode also. In this mode, all the fields are protected and you are not allowed to make any changes in the data. It is applicable for both PS and a PDS. I'm opening in browse mode. Here you can see the mode as browse. If I open it in edit mode, it will show me edit. So here the mode is edit. So let me open it in browse mode. So here I'm not able to edit any field, any line. It is showing me protected. F3. Next is copying a member. We can copy any member of a PDS to another PDS. Open the PDS. It was a PS so that's why it is saying action mismatch because we cannot open a PS with M. So we'll open the PDS now. So here M is DS list. It will show all the members which are present inside this PDS. Type C in front of member which you want to copy and press enter. On this screen you need to mention the name of the PDS. If PDS is already existing it will copy the member and if PDS is not existing it will first create the PDS and then copy the member. Here 
you need to give the PDS name. Let me copy the name. So we will be creating test three PDS. This is not an existing PDS. This will first create the PDS and then it will copy the test one member. Also, we can change the name of member. So here, if you want to change the name, mention the new member name here. If it is blank, it will take the same name. Press enter. On this screen, it is asking for confirmation to allocate the attributes of the test to PDS. Here, we'll use the existing attributes. Type one here. One. So one is to allocate using the attributes of test to PDS. If you want to give new attributes, then you need to type two. Two is to specify allocation attributes and press enter. So here you can see the message copied. So this member has been copied. We'll check the new PDS. As we have created it recently, we need to refresh the screen to show the third PDS, test three PDS. REF command is used to refresh the screen. Enter. So this is the third PDS which we just created. Open it in any mode. I'm opening it in uh, list mode. Here you can see the test one member which we copied. To see the information of a PDS or a PS, type I in front of it and press enter. So if I want to see information for test three PDS, I will press I. I is for information and press enter. So this is the information of test three PDS. So like what is the record format, record length, block size and uh, extent tracks, secondary tracks. S3. Apart from copy, we can move the member of a PDS to another PDS. So for this, open the PDS. Suppose we want to move this member, we'll write M, press enter. So this is a similar screen like the copy one. So we'll mention the PDS name. You need to mention it inside the quotes. So so we have mentioned test three PDS. Enter. We'll refresh it. Here you can see the message moved. Okay. So member three has been moved. We'll go and check in the third PDS. Type M. So here you can see the third member. We can rename a PDS also. Type R in front of this. R is for rename and press enter. We can use this command for any PS, PDS or member of a PDS. Enter. On this screen, you need to update the name and press enter again. So here, I will rename it as a demo, demo one and press enter. So here you can see renamed and you can see the new name here. Now we'll see search for command, open this PDS. Search for command is used to search for any word inside the members. So suppose there are three members here and if you do not want to open this and you want to search for a particular word, whether it is present in any of the member or not, then we'll use search for command. Types search S R C H F O R. This is the syntax and after this, you need to write the word which you want to search. Suppose I want to search tutorial. So 
so this is the command search for tutorial press enter so it has displayed like this word is present in test 1 member as well as in test 2 so we'll check it so here you can see tutorial this is a word tutorial so that's the reason it said it's found so we'll check in test 3 in test 3 tutorial is not there so that's the reason you are not able to see found in front of this member s3 this is all about various pds commands and functions in next video we will explore more ispf utilities